Hi, I'm Igor Soshkin, and I want to tell you why you're having difficulty finding suppliers who can offer you popular products at good prices so you can sell them online. It may be due to the supplier not understanding how e-commerce online businesses work. After all, you're a huge investment to your supplier and they don't even realize it. You're investing your time to sell your supplier's products for them. You're investing your money to advertise your supplier's products. Your supplier pays their employees to do the work you're volunteering to do for free. Not only should they give you the best possible price, but they should pay you some kind of a salary or reimburse you for the advertising fees if you're going to be doing all of this for them. How is it fair that you're bringing so much to the table and they're bringing so little? They can't even give you good prices so you can sell their products online and compete with your competitors. So why is it like this? Sure, it may be due to the supply and demand. The supplier has so many dealers signing up with them, they care less about the ones that don't want to follow by their rules. But how is it your problem? How is it fair to you that the supplier has their own rules that you need to follow? How do we make it the opposite where the suppliers will follow our rules? Unfortunately, anywhere you look, all they want is your money so you can buy some of their products so they can give you a good price and you can sell them. Otherwise, if you don't want to buy their products, they're going to give you the boot. If you're frustrated with looking for suppliers who can't give you competitive pricing so you can sell their product, don't worry, relax, take a deep breath. Together we will cut through all the smoke and make the suppliers obey us. The strategies we will be going over are so simple and easy to implement, you'll be selling millions of dollars of popular products at deep discounts from your suppliers. Before we get into the strategies, let's first understand why the suppliers act the way they do. The suppliers get hundreds of new dealers signing up for their company every month, but 95% of them never do business with them. Why? Because those 95% of sellers are just getting into the market. They haven't established a sales channel and they're just researching what products to sell and what prices to sell them for and what prices they can get those products for before creating a sales channel and demand which will move those products. What does the supplier think about that? Why waste time on someone who's just looking around? Let's take advantage of the situation and put them in front of the fact that either you're going to pay us the money to get the good discounts or we'll just find someone else who will do that. There will always be the next guy and they're really not in business and education where they're going to teach you how to properly sell their products. You on the other hand, just starting out, you need guidance, you need the prices, you need the products to sell for. How else are you going to start your business if you don't know what you're selling and what prices you're getting it for? It's like the chicken and the egg story. You can't get one without the other. So now that we understand the supplier's perspective, let's see how we can change that. What is the secret to being a successful entrepreneur and having a successful business? Well, we all know that we need to invest into the business before it brings us return. If you are looking to start now and cash in tomorrow, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. If it did, everyone would be doing it, including me. I wouldn't be making this video right now. I would be going and cashing in the business that I started yesterday and making all my money today. If we want the supplier to obey us, we need the supplier to come to us, not the other way around where we come to them. So how do we actually do this without investing a lot of money into our business? It is so easy to do the strategy that we have dealers who are between the ages of 18 and 80 who are doing this today successfully. Some of the dealers who did it, for example, Tom Shank, he has a website called Custom Maxima, custommaxima.com. That website specializes in Maxima parts only. He started from zero and today he's making $30,000 per month in gross sales. Example two, we have Zach. Zach has the website Coops Customs. It's a general store, but he specializes in cane and intakes. That's his primary product he sells on the website. He started from zero and he's doing $20,000 per month in sales. Ash with secretweaponperformance.com, that website specializes in webinar brand products only, and he started from zero and is doing $12,000 per month in gross sales. And Tom, Zach, and Ash are all in their early 20s. They started from nothing and they were able to accomplish this in less than a year. Then we have Jack and Tom. Jack has HHR Accessory website, which specializes in Chevy HHR vehicle parts. And we have Tom Cutler, whose website is steeringwheelskins.com, who specializes in wheelskin brand products. And they're both in their late 60s running their business and making several thousand dollars each month in sales. So what do all these dealers have in common? They all have a successful website. 
they all have their own sales channel where they can move their products without depending on anyone else. There's no one else competing on that website except them. They're the only ones selling on that website. They were able to get their website highly ranked so they can get traffic into the website. But most importantly, it's not any website. It's not a general website. It's a website that concentrates on a certain niche, either brand or a specific vehicle or a specific product. You must build a demand for the product first through your own sales channel before you can go out and ask for discounts. If your answer to what I just said that, hey, how about I'm going to start off on eBay? eBay is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with selling on eBay. However, from the supplier's perspective, you're going to approach them and say, hey, I want to sell your products. I want to sell it on eBay. I want to drop ship the product, so I don't want to stock anything. I don't want to give you any money up front, but I want you to give me the best possible price where you're going to earn the minimum amount of profit because of me, and I'm going to sell it on eBay, and I'm going to push a lot of volume. Can you do that for me? So from the supplier's perspective, you're coming to them. They don't even know how well you do on eBay or if you're just starting out. They might have eBay sellers already established selling their product. And why would they, without any kind of commitment, give you a product with a price where they make minimum amount of profit so you can go out and sell it on eBay? They can just go and do it themselves. It's not that hard to list a product on eBay. So if they have a great product and a great price, they'll go and sell it on eBay themselves. Why do they need you? What is your incentive to them? Sure, you're selling on eBay, you're risking the advertising cost, you're risking the fact that something might not sell, you lose the money, you're risking time, that's all fine. But don't forget that you think about selling on eBay, there's a hundred, if not thousands of more like you that are also wanting to sell on eBay because they heard the eBay story. You sell on eBay, you get rich. And the supplier you're approaching gets dealers just like yourself in the hundreds, if not thousands, each month asking to get a great price to sell on eBay. So the chances are that the supplier that you're approaching already has eBay sellers established. They don't, they're not looking anymore for that specific sales channel or they don't understand why it benefits them to sell on eBay. They figure if anything, they'll go and do it themselves. So eBay sales channel is not as attractive to the suppliers. This means that if you're looking for drop shipping, specifically for eBay, the chances are you're not going to get a great price where you can compete. Unless, of course, you're going to go to the supplier and do a buy-in where you invest a lot of money into the product, they ship it to you, and then you sell it on eBay. In order for you to make the supplier obey you, you need to have your own sales channel. You need to have your own eBay type website where you sell their products or somebody else's products or any kind of products. And the reason why the supplier will obey you because they can't do it themselves. Either they don't know how, they don't have the time, there could be all kinds of reasons. But the bottom line is your sales channel is going to be unique to you and your supplier has now access to it. There's no other dealers coming along saying, hey, can I take your products and sell on this website? Because this is your website, not the other dealer's website. You are in full control of that sales channel. So if you can build traffic to it and build demand for those products, you're going to make the supplier obey you and give you all the prices and all the discounts you want because of your situation. You need to be the leader in selling a certain product. You can sell anything you want, any supplier, any product you can possibly think of. You can get a competitive enough discount where you will be able to sell it and make a very good profit margin. But you need to be the leader selling that product. You need to be the leader of that sales channel. So let me give you an example. Instead of you approaching a supplier and saying, hey, I'm interested in selling your products. What kind of prices can you give me so I can compete on eBay? You can say, hey, you can supply me this product, right? Can you give me a really good discount if I sell so much of it? If the answer is yes, and you're, you're comfortable with that supplier, go out and build your own sales channel first. Then, once you see the visitors coming in, the demand is there, you can easily get a lot of sales if you had the right prices, then you can approach your supplier, and then you can tell them, hey, I need a better discount or I'm going to buy from someone else. It doesn't matter what product it is. It doesn't matter who your current supplier is. If the manufacturer knows that you have a very unique sales channel and you can move their products 
from your sales channel, they will give you whatever you need to make it happen. And if they won't, I bet you their distributor will. And they have tons of distributors who need to liquidate their inventory because they need to restock, they need to keep up the sales volume and so on. So all you have to do is say, hey, I can help you move your inventory. Give me the best price you can and that's it. If distributor one doesn't give it to you, you can go to distributor two and say, distributor one gave me this price, can you do any better? I can move this much volume. But the all boils down to that you need to be moving the volume through your sales channel and eBay is just not gonna cut it. So let's say that you understand this and you wanna get started. What's the first step? The first step is to understand what product sells, what prices you need to sell it for, and so on. A really cool tool that I like to use is Terapeak. Let me show you an example on how you would use it. 